Carl Landiger, owner of Black Claus & Company in New York, was born in Austria in 1930. During his career, he led a team that was one of the pioneers of twin wire forming. Seen here is a picture of the first twin wire paper machine ever made. It appeared on the cover of Pulp and Paper. In his free time, Carl has enjoyed a variety of activities that have included his wife and family. Carl has been a hunter for most of his life, and in 1992, his wife and three sons went with him on a very successful hunt in Botswana. Carl and his wife Renee also enjoy mountain climbing, and Carl is seen here in Switzerland, where they climb the Rindfishhorn. Here, Carl is seen about to summit the mountain. Carl has also done a great deal of scuba diving, and in the 1960s, he was a member of the Smithsonian's underwater archaeological team that recovered the oldest post-Christopher Columbus wreck discovered so far in the Western Hemisphere, a boat that went down off Bermuda in 1523. In the 1970s, Carla went to the Chachipoya region of Peru, where a team of archaeologists discovered a city of two-story houses almost six miles long. Carl has been a member of the Explorers Club for many years and is seen here holding the Explorers Club flag on one of the buildings. After exploring caves in Australia, Carl went diving in what he describes as an extraordinary area. Running has been a major part of Carl's life for the last 30 years. Here he is seen running a 10K run in Central Park where he does most of his running. On his 60th birthday, Carl was joined by his wife and two of his six children in the New York Marathon. Carl Landiger is a trustee, director, and chairman of IPST at Georgia Tech. He is also a director of Georgetown University and a past director of the Pulp and Paper Foundations of the Universities of Maine and North Carolina. A Tappy Fellow, he was also a Tappy Director and chairman of the Tappy International Division.